Welcome to the Blue Valley North Library website. Today we are going to talk about uploading PowerPoint presentations into my.brainshark.com. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to work on your PowerPoint presentation. This is just a sample one that I have made. Once it's ready to go, I'm going to make sure I have it saved in my network folder. So you'll save it in my documents. And then you can go to your webliography and go to my.brainshark.com. Once you're at my.brainshark.com, you're going to have to create your own account. If you've never used it before, you'll do this using your school email and password. And you'll do that by clicking sign up for free. Your screen name is what people will see when they look at your presentations. One very important thing is that you don't use your last name in your screen name unless you want to use your email address. You could use that. So you'll enter your screen name. Also make sure that your screen name is professional. Don't use something like Kitty Cat 22 or Chiefs Fan 07. Make it somehow identifiable to you. So either use your email address or use your first name, last initial, or something like that, which will help us identify you. You'll use your school email account and you'll use your same password. You don't have to enter how did you hear about us and then you'll click on register. Once you're in BrainShark, what you're going to do is you're going to click on Upload Content. The very first step that you're going to do is to upload your PowerPoint presentation. So you'll click on Upload PowerPoint. You'll browse to your folder where you have that presentation saved. And then you'll write a description. Your description be, should be something simple. I'm going to type this presentation discusses the required elements for the election video project. I'm going to tag it with just a few categories. So I'm going to choose education. One is enough. And then the tags that I'm going to use, I'm going to say BVN library as a tag. And I'll also say election video. Now I'm going to go next. And this is the point where you can add audio. This is really, really easy to do with a microphone. You'll click here to record using your microphone, or it's very, very easy to do with your cell phone. So you'll dial the number, and then you'll enter the presentation code, and it will give you very specific directions for how to upload audio. If you are required to upload audio, you'll either have to use a microphone or you'll have to use your cell phone. If your teacher is not requiring you to add audio, you can click on Skip Adding Audio. Right now I'm going to skip for the sake of this video. It's really easy if you just follow the directions. The next step is to make your project active. So this is a little bit tricky and a lot of people miss this. If you don't make your project active, then no one can see it. So even if you turn it in on time, we wouldn't be able to look at your project. You have to click on this little tiny link right here on the right, you'll see the sentence says nobody can see this content to share it with others make it active. So I'm going to click on that and now other people can see my presentation. And the very last thing that you have to do is you're going to click on share. After you click on that you're going to email it to bvnlibrary at gmail.com. This is if you're turning your project into the library website. Another alternative, your teacher might ask you to email it directly to them. You'll just have to follow the directions given to you by your teacher. So I already have the subject and the message. And then I'm going to just click send. And I have now successfully turned in my presentation. You can always go back and edit presentations if you need to. If you have some problems with your audio, you can go and fix them by clicking on edit. And once we've received everyone's projects, we'll post them online unless your teacher is having you view them independently. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email us on the 
email a librarian link on our library website. And good luck with your brain sharking. Thanks for watching.